Welcome. And now we're going to use the pore minimizer. That is my primer. I'm going to put a little dab of that on there. I just put that on my cheeks. And I put it a little bit on my forehead and my nose and a little bit on my chin. But I didn't get to the chin this time. So we're just going to go with that. Now we're going to start with my eyebrows. I use my Pro Conceal. That is the wrong color. My color is Warm Honey. That is Warm Sand, but close enough. We're going to take that and go under our eyebrows with a angled brush with a spoolie on the end of it. And we go in the angle of our eyebrow. Now I got my eyebrows done like Friday, I believe. So that was about three days ago, four days ago. So that works. So we're going to go ahead and do the other eyebrow now. And we're going to try to make them as close as we can. They won't be sisters, honey, but they be cousins. So that'll work. And now we're going to take our brown, medium brown pencil and kind of shade in our eyebrows. Not too much coloring them in, but just give them some shape. Because... I don't let so many people mess up my eyebrows, y'all. I ain't really got none. It just, I'm working with what I got here, okay? Don't judge me. Don't judge me. So that eyebrow didn't turn out too good, but that's what concealer is for, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it's for, to fix mistakes. Because I always mess up on that eyebrow. So as you can see, I'm, I'm coloring it in just a tad, but not much, because I'm going to take the other end of that brush, which is a spoolie, and I'm going to blend out the edges. I do not want to box eyebrows. I don't. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out because I'm not trying to look like uh, 2000 because it was in 2000. Oh, and black eyebrows too. Look the hot mess. Man, I should show y'all what I look like with black eyebrows. It was horrible. So now we're going to go on top and fix that mistake that I made. I have shaky hands, so I'm surprised I can do this. So we're going to clean them up. All right, so after we're done cleaning them up, and next... We're going to move to, I couldn't find what I was looking for, y'all, so we're going to move towards blending in that, we're going to take a dark brown from the palette that I absolutely love, you see that brown is almost gone, so we use it, we use it, so we're going to go ahead and um, blend that brown, ooh, child, look at that, yes, bring me life, honey, because I have no eyebrows. There's so many people touching my eyebrows, y'all ain't got none. <laughs> Tear. Anywho, we're going to keep on coloring those in. And I'm going to fade out that edge. As I said before, we do not want box eyebrows. We are in 2020. We're not 2001. We're not doing that. So we're going to blend that out so it was not a square. Oh, hell no. And now we're going to take our, I already put foundation, nope. well not foundation, I already put concealer on my eyes, so now I'm just putting the eyeshadow primer, and I'm using the butt of the teardrop blender, and I'm blending in that. Now I'm taking a blending brush, now I did not realize this, but... I got these, I think, off, what did I get these off of? Um, AliExpress. That's what I got them off of. I didn't realize they had the name on them. So there you go. Go ahead and get out some brushes on AliExpress if you don't know the name. I just can't never find nothing. Okay, now we're going to go in with this dark, I almost color my shirt pink. And what we're going to do is go in the crease with the blending brush. We're going to tap first. 
You do not want to put too much product on your brush. I had to get situated because I wasn't comfortable. Okay, so we do not want to put too much product on the brush because you cannot take away color. You can only add to it. You can't take it away. If you take it away, you want to worry about the whole eye. I ain't finna do all that. So we're gonna go ahead and uh blend that in. And now we're taking that pig and we're blending up because we don't have a transition color this time, guys. Your transition color is the color between your crease color and your eyebrow color. But we're not doing one, so we're just going to put a highlight. I'm using that cream white, and I'm going to use... What brush am I going to use? Come on, now. Are we going with the brown? I'm sorry, y'all. So now we're going with the brown with the flat blending brush. It is flat and it is curved. So you can go around the eyelid. Kind of make that cut crease if you want to with that color. So we're taking that brown, we're blending that in. All right, cool. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that, y'all. We're going to move right along with this. And now we're going to take our e.l.f. eyeliner, which I absolutely adore this line. I've been using it for years. So I start in the middle of my eyelid and I move towards the corner. And then I won't go all the way to the corner. I will come up and I will go down to my tear duct. Now we're going to take the bottom water line and we're going to draw a line diagonal. And then we're going to take it from that point and draw down. So as you can see, that's what I did. I basically created a triangle. If you're not that advanced yet, what you can do, you can actually mark it out. Instead of actually coloring in like I did, you can mark out that triangle at the end the corner of your eye. And you can fill that in. And that's how we go. We're going to let that dry. Now we're going to go in with my... Um, I think that's Kiss. Kiss eyelash glue. And we're going to shake it because Lord knows it's, it's, it's time to get another one. But uh, couldn't get the damn thing open. What's going on? All right. Now I got it open. Jesus. All right. So we're using my lashes. I wish I don't know the number of. Again, I lost the original box because I'm slow. So we're going to put the eyelash glue on top of the eyeliner. I learned this trick from one of my YouTubers I follow. His name is, what is his name? Patrick Starr. Patrick Starr. His name is Patrick Starr. And the reason why I put this on top of my black eyeliner, because when I'm getting ready to wash all of this off, it comes off with the eyeliner. It doesn't stay on the skin. I'm not putting directly on the skin, I'm putting on eyeliner. So I'm looking down at the mirror. I look down and get it as close as I can to the lash line, as close as I can. As you see, guys, I'm close. And then we're going to take that end part and we're going to put that on first. And then we're going to go in towards our tear duct and put that corner in. Struggling a little bit, but I got it, y'all. I got it, yay. I'm going back in because I'm a perfectionist, so that's, that's yeah. That was going to happen anyway. Yas, do you see that fluffiness? Be right back. And we're back, guys. Haha, <laughs> yes. We did both eyes. And as you can see, they're really pretty and fluffy. Now we're going in with the foundation in the color Beautiful Bronze by Black Radiant. And we're going to go just smooch that all over the face. Smooch it. Just smooch it on the chin and everywhere. Just, just roll it. I'm really not used to this stick yet. I love it, though. I love it. The foundation, I'm not a full coverage girl. This is medium to full coverage. So I'm just smooching it on the face. Get under the eyes, around the nose. Come right back. So now we have set it and everything. And now we're going to use, I use foundation. That was LA Girl Foundation. I think the color is porcelain. So I use that as my highlight now. I don't use concealer anymore. I don't know why, but this works way better than concealer. So I did both eyes. And now we're going to set both eyes, which I already did. We're going to set the foundation with our powder. 
Ruby Kisses in the color Chestnut. Yeah, Chestnut. So we're gonna go on, blend that out. Mm-hmm. Yes. Make it look seamless, girl. You working it. Get that forehead. I was blessed with such a large forehead, y'all. Don't understand. You just don't understand. My uncle used to call me Applehead, and he still do, and, and that's fine. So now we're skipping to the part where we do our, you know, contour. So we contour our cheekbones, our nose, and we're going to go in a C motion. C motion from the forehead down. And we're going to make that stand out. We're going to do the other side. I love contouring. It just makes my cheekbones just... I already got high cheekbones, but this is just an added plus. And now we finna snitch that nose. We taking another beauty brush. Um, we using a blending brush, not a beauty blush, a blending brush. And it's a flat blending, blending brush. And we're gonna use that to basically contour our nose, y'all. You saw that look? That mean I like it. And now we're gonna go in with our blush brush. Say that 10 times fast. And we're gonna basically go on a C motion just like we did with our contour. Just like we did with our contour. For me, this works. This really brings out my cheekbones. This this really makes my face stand out when I use this and I go in the C motion. So yeah. And now we're going in with our highlight brush. I'm just thinking about what highlight I'm gonna use, y'all. That's why I made that face. So I forgot where I got this highlighter from. What is highlight from? But it really it's pretty, but it doesn't show up as much as I would like it to. So I did add another highlight right on top of it. But as you can see, it did get that cupid's bow real good though, y'all. It really it got that cupid's bow out. And it's getting that side head. Yes, move it out. And like I told you guys, I did use another highlight. I got this highlight off Wish. And I the color I used was, I think it was the um, pink that was in there. And now we're going to set it, you guys, with the NK Makeup Perfection Setting Last Longing Spray. And I don't know why I put my hair back so far like that. Two hours later. Guys, this is the finished look. I added some black eyeliner on my waterline because that's what I forgot to do. And I added a little bit more highlight and the color that I use for my lips. This is on the outside. This one is on the inside. This is black honey and this is matte paint. Thank you all for joining me and hope to see you in the next video.